Car Sales Talk 101, where it's all about life in the car business. Telling you like it is. Here's the man with the plan, Terry Cameron. Let's get started. Welcome back to Car Sales Talk 101. I'm Terry Cameron. Thanks for hanging out with me again this week. This is episode number 160. Do you believe that? 160 episodes. It's also the two-year mark since we first introduced this uh, podcast. And for those of you that have been with me the entire two years, thank you very much. And also thank you to all those that have dropped in a little bit later. Things are looking really good and I'm getting lots of great ideas uh, for future episodes. And that's because of you guys, for you listeners, sending requests to me, asking questions, and giving me an opportunity to think about things before I speak. Now, the great news right now is our governor here in Texas just lifted the mandatory uh, mask-wearing law, which goes into effect tomorrow. I think that's great. But I think it still might be a little bit early. But we're going to take it just like it is. I know at work, I hate wearing a mask 12 hours a day. I hate it. I really think that it affects uh, my health. And other people feel the same way. But that's one chapter that we're getting ready to close. Let's talk about something else, though, right now. First, before I go any further, I am really asking everybody to head to to Apple Podcast and leave me a rating and write a review. It really helps me and gives me the motivation to keep on doing what I'm doing. Now, this week, I want to talk about uh, how to get better at what we do. You know, and we, as managers, we're always telling our, our salespeople, our subordinates that, hey, you need to get better. You need to start doing this better. You need to, you need to be at this point in your career. You should be selling this many cars. You should have this many, uh, referrals. You should have a, a database of, of clientele this big. But, you know, just telling people that they need to get better doesn't make them better. And that goes for, for us managers also. We need to get better, but we got to figure out where we need to get better. I want to talk about some skills. There's so many skills that are in, that, that are that's involved with what we do for a living. And I'm going to go over just the basic ones real quick. And there's a bunch of small ones inside these basic skills or major skills, I, sh- I guess I should call them. The first one is your greeting. You need to have a proper greeting. Now, the one that I hear around my dealership all the time is, is, is hey, have you been helped yet? Well, that's not a very professional greeting. I mean, I'm sure you can use that somewhere in the greeting. You know, but like, welcome to ABC Motors. You know, my name is Terry. Let me ask you, sir, have you already been helped yet? Or is there something that I can help you with? Now, I'm not saying that's the perfect uh, greeting. But doesn't that sound so much better than just when somebody walks in the door that you say, have you been helped yet? I mean, is that insinuating that we might not want to help them if they have been helped somewhere else? So that's one skill. And there's a whole bunch of little skills inside that meet and greet. We want to move on to the rapport building, you know, getting them to like us. You can't be phony there. You know, that's where you really have to have a conversation with them. You want to have another skills investigate, you know, find out their wants and needs, find their hot buttons, their dominant buying motive, find those things out. You got to have a, you got to be really good at the presentation because if you've done everything right prior to the presentation, now you're going to talk to them about what is important to them. Not the whole product, but just what's important to them. And of course, you need to have the, the, the demonstration drive. That is another skill, a major skill with a bunch of little small things inside that. Of course, when you get back off of the, the demo, you need to be able to do a, 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 a trade walk. You need to go around the trade with them. You need to be able to get them inside the building professionally. You need to get them sitting down at the closing desk and you need to be able to present figures. You see, these are all, these are all major skills. We can even go on a little bit further and say the follow-up, you know, asking for referrals. All of these other things are also major skills. So what I'd like you to do is think about this. Think about where you're the weakest. Write down all these major skills, all the steps to the sale, all the road to the sale steps that you're supposed to take. Which one do you think you could be better at? I'm going to tell you this. The one that you're the weakest in is the one that you really don't want to do. And you don't spend a whole lot of time on it. But that's the one that you really need to spend time on. I've heard one of my salespeople tell me, man, I like the way you taught me how to get referrals. I just don't feel comfortable doing it. Well, that's because you don't do it enough. It's just like anything in life that you do. If you're a golfer, I'm sure the first time you picked off, picked up a golf club and, and somebody showed you how to grip it, 
and rip it, it wasn't really comfortable. You had to learn that. It's like anything else. I mean, I remember my mountain bike trails trying to figure out how to climb a hill that I never could climb before. And, but I just kept on trying, even though I knew I was going to get really, really tired and burned out trying to climb that hill. But it wasn't long before I was climbing a hill like it was nothing. I didn't like having to do it, but I got better at it because I practiced it. So here's what I want you to do. Pick the weakest one. Pick the weakest one, and I want you to practice it. Practice it every day. Now, you have to admit, we all have some free time on our hands every single day at the dealership. We all have that. And if you don't have any free time, then you're that 30, 40, 50 car salesperson. But anybody else that's not selling 20 plus cars a month, we have some free time on our hands at the dealership. Now, selling cars can be fun because we get to come to work and we don't have to work really hard all day long. We got a 9, 10, 12 hour day and we probably work 3, 4, 5, maybe 6 hours. So there's some extra time in there. What I'm asking you to do is to take 15 minutes to 30 minutes every single day and practice that one skill that you're the weakest at. And if you do that for a month, now, hopefully you work with a a, a good group of people that if you ask them to help you, and what I mean by that is to role play with you. If you ask them that, they'll do that and they'll do it professionally. I want you to think about this. If you practiced that skill, let's just say it's the meet and greet. And you, and you spend 30 minutes on it every single day, five days a week. Don't you think you'd have that mastered by the end of the month? I do, especially if you do it right. If you're practicing the right way and you're taking it serious. And then it's not going to be that hard to do anymore because you're good at it. It's going to come natural. And it's just like anything else. You know, when you first started selling cars, you were a little worried about some things, following the steps, all that inventory out there, what you had to, to learn about it. But do you remember that after that first 30 days, you were much more comfortable and better at your job than you were the very first day? It's the same thing. Just because we've been doing this forever doesn't mean we can't get better, right? So do that. And then when you've done, you're done with that, pick another skill. Pick the presentation, whatever it might be, and spend 15 to 30 minutes religiously, day in, day out, on practicing that presentation. All the little minor things in there. Don't you think after doing it every day for 30 days, you're going to be better at giving a presentation? Especially if you're role playing with different people and different scenarios come up. I really think you will get better. And you keep on doing that. You keep on doing that. And I don't want you to skip the ones that you think you're great at. So in a year's time, if you picked 12 skills... And that's what you're going to work on. 12 skills in a year, one each month. You cannot tell me that if you've done it right for 30 minutes every single day you're at work, that you can't or you won't be a better salesperson, a better closer, a better presenter, a better employee, making more money, living better, and enjoying your profession better. Now, six figures is really not that hard to do. Now, some of us, we have to get over that hump. But it's not supposed to be easy. But that's another skill. Once you start making six figures, guess what you do every year? You keep on making more. You have to do this. You have to ask your question, ask the question to yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth it to me? All right? Do I want to make this much money? Do I want to sell this many cars? And am I willing to go through the trouble it takes? And when I mean trouble, all I mean is the practice and doing the work. We've got a great profession and we've got lots of free time on our hands to practice what we do without having to practice on a customer. I know for a fact, if you pick those skills and every month you practice that same one every single day for 15 to 30 minutes, you will be one badass salesperson in a year. And what do I mean by badass? If you can do that all the time, I'm talking 8, 10, 12, 15 more cars a month. Add that to what you're doing right now. And if that doesn't make a difference in your paycheck and your lifestyle, then I don't know what will. So practice it. Make yourself better. Pick a skill, any skill, and go to work. Remember, the sky's the limit. I'll talk to you next week. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. Please rate it and write a review on Apple Podcasts. 
We appreciate your valuable feedback. You can email Terry at 10 minute sales talk at hot.rr.com. And don't forget to share the show with a friend.